Hey guys and welcome to this week's installment of Tuesdays with Lauri. My name is Lauri Laukkanen and I'm one of the editors at SLR Lounge. You can also find me on Facebook at Lauri Laukkanen Photography. In this week's installment of Tuesdays with Lauri, we're going to be taking a look at three different ways that we can use in order to con convert photographs into black and white images in Photoshop. With that said, let's open up Photoshop and let's get started. Okay, here you guys can see an image that I did for a commercial shoot for our TV channel about three months ago and uh, now we're going to be using this image as an example and we'll be converting it into a black and white uh, in three different ways. The first way that I'm going to teach you guys is the most simple and easy fast way but also the way that gives you the least control. So I'm going to duplicate this layer as I always do when the start, I start editing in Photoshop and now I'm going to push down Command and U or on Windows you'll, you'll push uh, Control and U. So Command and U and it brings up this hue and saturation dialog that you guys can see here and now just by pulling, pulling down the saturation slider it creates a nice black and white image uh, you have no control over the image and how the black and white conversion looks like. It's all automated by Photoshop. But this is a very quick and fast way to convert an image into a black and white. So this is the very easy first way how we could do it. The next way I'm going to uh, put close this layer here. Actually, let's just delete it and use the next way we have open up the curves adjustment or sorry not the curves adjustment panel we're gonna open up uh, the channel mixer so we click on channel mixer it brings up this dialog here here we have this monochrome uh, click or we can click here on monochrome and that will turn the image into black and white now these basic settings that you see here are the same exact settings that the hue and saturation dialog does. But now we have three different sliders that we can use uh, and control the look and feel of this black and white image. We can add more reds into the black and white which makes the image a bit more brighter. We can uh, add a bit of blue and which makes the image brighter as well. But how the channel mixer works is you should target and keep this number here, the total number at 100%. So if you add reds and blues into the image, you should pull down the greens until you get to a nice 100% number. This uh, makes the image look good. Uh, but now let's see, I, I'd add a bit of red here, maybe take away a bit of blue and add a bit of green. And this way now with these three sliders we get a bit more control than with the hue and saturation panel and get a nice look that we're going for. Uh, three sliders means actually that we have six colors here. We have red and uh, then we have green and blue and then we have the opposite colors. So we have yellow, we have cyan, we have magenta as well just by turning the sliders to the other way. So three sliders and clicking the monochrome button here gives us a bit more control and gives a nice look and feel. Then the third and the most, it's not the most complex but uh, it's pretty easy as well but it gives us the most control and uh, we get a black and white image that looks and feels just like we want it to feel. So I'm going to take away this channel mixer here and we use the black and white dialog here. It opens up this dialog and it has 12 different presets ready made. Blue filter, which is pretty contrasty. We have the green filter, high contrast red filter, lighter, uh, neutral density. Uh, we have 12 different presets, but we also can customize this totally to our own uh, taste. So we have uh, six sliders that give us full control over this image. We can pull up the reds, we can pull up the yellows, let's pull down the greens. Greens don't do much in this image because we didn't have any greens in the original one. As you guys can see there's really no green in this image. We have the cyans which affect the dress of our subject here. We have blues that affect the darker tones because the shadows in this image are a bit uh, are pulled into the blue hues so this affects the shadows a bit. Magentas don't really do that much either because again we didn't have a lot of magenta in this image. 
but now we have six sliders, 12 presets, and this black and white dialogue gives us the most control. And at the same time, it's also pretty much the easiest uh, tool to convert images into black and white. There's no total 100% number that we should be looking at. You can just pull up or pull up or down and see what you like and the image stays good looking. So let's say something like this gives a nice black and white conversion. And this tool, the black and white uh, dialogue gives us the most control when converting images to black and white. So I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video and as always if you have any questions or requests for future episodes just leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to help you all out. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video and uh, make sure to like, share and subscribe. And with that said, see you guys again next Tuesday. Bye!